Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you eating or considering a carnivore or vegan diet? In this video, I'll share what is a carnivore and vegan diet. Are humans carnivore, herbivore, or omnivore? Carnivore versus vegan health benefits and risks, and some takeaways. Several viewers have commented about miraculous health benefits after switching from a vegan to carnivore diet. As I've shared in previous videos, most comments are anonymous, anecdotal, and unverifiable. A carnivore is an animal that feeds on raw flesh and internal organs. There are also carnivorous plants. A carnivore diet is basically a 100% animal food, zero plant food diet. Foods include meat, poultry, fish, animal products like eggs, low lactose dairy, some low carb seasonings, salt, and water. The ratio of fat to protein is similar to keto diets. While a carnivore diet is 100% animal foods, it does supply a small amount of carbohydrates. A 75 to 25 ratio may be impossible to attain eating only high-fat meat and seafood. As you can see, even high-fat pork bacon is 42% fat to 37% protein. Achieving 75% fat requires adding pure fats. Since carnivore is a zero plant food diet, energy is supplied by ketones instead of glucose. Fats are mostly saturated and monounsaturated. Carnivore diets are supposed to be low in potentially inflammatory polyunsaturated fats. Salmon and other high-fat seafoods are high in polyunsaturated fats, otherwise known as omega-3 fats. Carnivore diets are also high in dietary cholesterol. Water is the only beverage allowed on a true carnivore diet. Some are more flexible, allowing unsweetened teas and coffee. Tea and coffee are banned due to the anti-nutrient tannin. Tannin can reduce iron absorption. A vegan diet is the opposite of a carnivore diet. While carnivore is 100% animal foods, vegan is 100% plant foods. A vegan diet consists of fruit, vegetables, plant fats, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Vegan is also a high-fiber diet compared to zero-fiber carnivore, and also includes more low-calorie foods. Unlike Mediterranean and Asian diets, carnivore and vegan are extreme diets. Less than 1% of the world's population is estimated to be vegan. An even smaller percentage are carnivore. People eat a vegan diet for religious, moral, or health reasons. Vegan diets have been around for thousands of years. The Bible's Book of Daniel records a vegan diet. Carnivore is a 20th century diet, using the same rationale as all fad, low-carb diets. The main rationale is that humans are carnivores and that plant foods are loaded with harmful toxins and pesticides that result in obesity and chronic diseases. In reality, there's no scientific evidence supporting carnivore diet claims and health benefits. That does not mean a low-carb diet has no health benefits. A healthy low-carb diet can be a nutritious, low-calorie diet. The dramatic increase in obesity and type 2 diabetes has more to do with poor diet and lifestyle choices. If plant food toxins were deadly, 
there would be no vegans or vegetarians. Most credible research supports eating a diet high in plant foods. Many plants have natural toxins against insects. But over the centuries, humans, like animals, have discovered which foods are safe and which are toxic. Claiming all animal foods are safe and non-toxic is a myth. Some animal foods, like the pufferfish, are highly toxic to humans. Animal and plant foods can harbor a variety of harmful bacteria, proteins, and viruses. Would you eat beef knowing it came from cattle with mad cow disease? Claiming the human digestive tract is carnivore is also a myth. Unlike true carnivores, human stomach acid is too weak to kill harmful bacteria. Carnivores can eat weak old raw meat exposed to heat exceeding 100 degrees Fahrenheit with no ill effects. And no carnivore eats cooked meat. True carnivores eat the whole animal or chunks of raw meat. Humans do not possess the claws and teeth needed to kill and eat animals. Before inventing knives and spears, humans were the hunted, not the hunter. Even today, an unarmed human can be tiger food. Unlike true herbivores, Humans are not restricted to a plant food diet. While humans are more herbivore than carnivore, a vast majority are omnivores. Diets of plant and animal foods can provide healthy individuals with all essential nutrients. Essential nutrients are nutrients your body cannot make. They include fats, protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. Animal and plant foods provide protein, with animal protein having higher levels of essential amino acids. Animal and plant foods also provide fats. Plant fats have no cholesterol and less saturated fat. The main source of carbohydrates is plant foods. A vegan diet can have less calories, be anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, zero cholesterol, provide better blood sugar control, improve kidney function, and reduce the risk of heart disease. With the exception of zero cholesterol, carnivore diets claim to provide the same health benefits. While there's decades of research supporting the health benefits of high plant food diets like Mediterranean and DASH, there are few large-scale, long-term studies of vegan and carnivore diets. This is partly due to the small number of people who eat these diets. Contrary to popular belief, Carnivore and vegan are nutrient-deficient diets. Nutrient deficiencies can cause serious chronic illnesses. If humans were carnivore, all essential vitamins would come from animal foods. Animal foods are the best source of vitamin B12. Vegans have a higher risk of developing a B12 deficiency and pernicious anemia. Carnivore diets are vitamin C deficient diets. Most healthy people need between 1,800 to 2,400 calories a day. Obtaining enough vitamin C from animal foods requires up to 22,000 calories. By comparison, two ounces of red bell pepper provides 108 milligrams of vitamin C for 15 calories. A vitamin C deficiency causes scurvy. The best source of essential minerals is also animal and plant foods. A 10-ounce beefsteak 
has about 700 calories and 1,000 milligrams of potassium. Some people believe they need 4,500 milligrams a day or more. Like vitamin C, most people would have to eat more calories than they need to obtain 4,500 milligrams of potassium. The RDA for magnesium is 420 milligrams. Like potassium, the number of calories exceeds what most healthy people need. While salmon is a good source of magnesium and potassium, most people equate a carnivore diet with beef, pork, and chicken. This carnivore breakfast is low in potassium and magnesium. There are serious health risks associated with both carnivore and vegan diets. People without a gallbladder should avoid high-fat diets. People with kidney disease should avoid high-protein diets. A major takeaway from this video is that humans are not carnivores. The human digestive tract is more herbivore, but most people are omnivore. Carnivore diet health benefits are anecdotal. A vegan diet has some health benefits, but can cause nutrient deficiencies. Both diets require dietary supplements. There are no credible links between plant toxins, obesity, and chronic diseases. If you're currently eating or considering eating a carnivore or vegan diet, routinely check for vitamin and mineral deficiencies and other health risk factors. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.